Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'll be reading Psalm 77 of the King James Version Bible and it reads, I cried unto God with my voice, even unto God with my voice, and he gave, and he gave hair unto me. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord, my sore run in the night and ceased not my soul refused to be comforted i remembered god and was troubled i complained and my spirit was overwhelmed thou holdest mine eyes waking i am so troubled that i cannot speak i have considered the days of old the years of ancient times i call to remembrance my song in the night i commune with mine own heart and my spirit made diligent search. Will the Lord cast for cast off for ever? And will he be favorable no more? Is his mercy clean gone for ever? Doth his promise fail for evermore? Hath God forgotten to be gracious? Hath he in anger shut up his tender mercies? And I said, This is my infirmity. But I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy wonders of hold. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great as God, a God as our God? Thou art the God that, do that doest wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. Thou hast with thine arm redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw thee, O God, the waters saw thee. They were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water. The skies sent out a sound. Thine arrows also went abroad. The voice of thy thunder was in the heaven the lightnings lightning, lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. The way is in the sea. Thy way, sorry, is in the sea. And thy path in the great waters. And thy footsteps are not known. Thou ledest thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Okay, guys, so in this chapter, we see where the psalmist is asking God if he has forgotten to be kind, if he's forgotten the promises that he made. But we know that God does not forget his promises and God does not turn back on his words. He always, his words always come to fruition. And so we need to actually acknowledge this and we see where the writer speaks of the works of God in whole that he will actually remember all the works that God did in the past and he will focus on that and in focusing on that he will actually come to know that okay God is able to deliver them and God will deliver them if he truly meditates on this and this is the reason why he says that he'll meditate on this right because he remembers all that the Lord had done for the children of Israel in bringing them out of Egypt and all that he did to ensure that the inhabitants of the land that he had promised them would actually be cut off, that they would actually overtake those, the inhabitants of the land and actually gain possession of the land. And so sometimes we need to revisit things. And I think here in this Psalm, the psalmist was actually, you know, at a point where he was becoming impatient, waiting on the Lord to actually come to their rescue, to come to their aid. But it's not that he's doubting God, but more so that he's impatient. And sometimes we need to just exhibit a little patience have patience because the lord is indeed patient with us and so we need to acknowledge the fact that god's time is not our timing god works within his own time and so we need to be patient 
and we need to pray for our strength while we wait during all this okay so guys please remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not yet gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye